The Eberbach Monastery lies just west of Wiesbaden, near the town of Eltville, and goes back to 1136. It wasn't the first time monks had lived here. An earlier community was disbanded, apparently, for misbehaviour. If parts of the monastery look familiar, it's because most of the interiors for the movie The Name of the Rose were filmed here. In the movie, this room was the scriptorium. In real life, it was the dormitory. Like most abbeys, castles and cathedrals, this place grew over the years, so some parts are older than others. The church dates mostly from the 12th century and was built in the Romanesque style with its round arches. But the south aisle is early 14th century in the more decorative Gothic style with pointed arches. Near the altar is a tomb set into the wall, bearing the images of two archbishops of Mainz, Adolf II of Nassau and Gerlach of Nassau. The monks who lived here were Cistercians who supposedly lived in austerity. In fact, the monks did very well indeed here, making and trading wine. The 16th and 17th centuries were tough. The monastery was plundered during the Peasants' Revolt and again during the Thirty Years' War. But with all the properties owned by the monastery, life was good again until the German mediatization after the Napoleonic Wars spelled the end of the Holy Roman Empire and the end of the Eberbach Monastery, which was closed in 1803 to be repurposed as a prison, then a lunatic asylum and now a tourist attraction. Some time later, in 1871 to be exact, the Franco-Prussian War led to the creation of the German Empire. To celebrate, just a few miles from the monastery, the famous Niederwald Monument was built. This location, high above the town of Rüdesheim, overlooking the Rhine, was chosen partly because of its significance in German folklore but mostly because while in 1798 the French had annexed all the land on the other side of the Rhine, in 1815 the Congress of Vienna gave it to Prussia. The monument thus looks over the river to the Rhine province, won back from the French, now part of the state of Rhineland-Palatinate. The woman is, of course, Germania, the personification of Germany, as Britannia is to Britain and Uncle Sam to the US. Below her, figures representing war and peace. And incidentally, the monument is 38 meters high and weighs 75 tons. Down below, in the middle of the river, is the so-called Mouse Tower of Bingen. The legend, sadly a complete fiction, is that the 10th century Archbishop Hatto II, having cruelly burned to death a group of peasants, was beset by thousands of mice. He took refuge in the tower, but the mice swam to it, ate their way through the door, and then ate the bishop alive. The Niederwald Monument is so called because it is in a wooded park called the Niederwald, created by an 18th century count. He built a few little diversions, such as this fake ruin called the Rossel. The remains of the Knight's Hall have a spectacular view of the Rhine as it is forced into a narrow gorge. Most intriguing is the Enchanted Cave. Okay. 
Well, it's pretty long actually, 60 meters, so... In its day, the walls were covered in glittering glass. Get up, that's nice. Um, yeah. One of those books, we go to another world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm 80 feet. Okay. Everybody all right? Unfortunately, we went the wrong way. You're supposed to go through towards the pavilion, where you emerge to, apparently, a breathtaking view of the Rhine. But by then, we'd had as many breathtaking views as we could take. 